It's an ongoing supply of veterans, and a lot of them, they close themselves in. They need the help. This warehouse is packed with donations for veterans, but as they deliver the hampers, they're making sure it's not just about food. Veteran Wayne LaPointe has a personal reason for sorting food here at the Veterans Association Food Bank. Years ago, he walked into a Calgary Legion asking if it needed volunteers. And he was pointed to a woman named Ev. And she helped me out through some pretty tough times. She's more or less kept straight and narrow. She was a wonderful woman with a very sharp edge. <laughs> But uh, it's something I'm going to miss in a long, for a long time. Ev passed away a few years ago. She worked at the old Calgary Veterans Food Bank, which closed in September. The association was created in its place, and all of this was collected in just nine weeks. Volunteers delivered 75 Christmas hampers with enough food to last a month. And the association's Veterans Taking Care of Veterans approach is making sure other needs are also met. All right, get this last load. We thank the first service, and uh, I think what's happening here is they're just not delivering food. They're connecting with the veterans, and this particular lady, um, what they asked us to do is just see if they need any other help, like housekeeping or just like you know she was in the dark, and they you know she probably needs um, just to talk to somebody, and so. All right, let's get it done. Last one, seventy-five. This service is available the whole year, and they know there are more veterans who need help. For LaPointe, he learned from his old friend Ev that persistence is key. A lot of us, we don't like asking for help. <laughs> and she sort of opens up her heart and digs at you long enough that she can get you the help. In Calgary, Crystal Ladaris, City News.